Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you to disable grouping quickly in Reaper. So I'm going to start off with a review. I have a project in front of me here, and I want to group some tracks like this. We could select all the tracks by holding Shift, and that's going to create a temporary group. So if we open up the mixer and adjust our faders on any of the tracks, they're all going to move together. Grab this one, same thing, or this one, and so on. So that's what's known as a temporary group, as it behaves as a group while each track is selected. And it'll work the same way for panning going into record, for muting, soloing, and also for inverting the polarity. But we could bypass any of that grouping by using the shift key. Hold on shift, and we can adjust this fader completely separately from the others. And let go of the shift key, and they group together again. And we can hold shift for the panning, so they work separately, going into record, muting, soloing, and again, the polarity. So shift on track grouping bypasses the group. But we could also create non-temporary groups, or basically groups. Let's close this, and we can select all the tracks again. This time, hit shift G, and that opens up the grouping dialog where we could choose which parameters to group. Let's keep it simple and just choose all. And now, even if the tracks aren't selected, they're still going to behave as a group. So I can move the fader on the first one and they all move together. So with the second one and so on. But again, we can hold down shift to bypass that behavior. Hold on shift, and each fader moves separately. And it's the same for panning. We can pan this left or right. Hold on the shift key to bypass the grouping like this. Going to record, hold the shift key to bypass it. We do it separately. Muting, sewing, hold the shift key to bypass that behavior. So the shift key bypasses temporary groups and real groups, at least for tracks. But now let's take a look at items. Let's close the mixer. We could group all the items on these tracks like this. We'll lasso the items to select them all. Then we'll hit the G key, which groups the items. As we can see, the little icon up here shows us they're grouped. So now, we can move them like this, and they move together as a group. But notice when we drag it to the end, it snaps to the bar. Because I have snapping turned on up here, with the grid turned on and snapping turned on. And if I right click it, I turned snap to grid at any distance off. So for me, when I move the items, they don't snap until we get close. To the grid. Then they snap right on that grid, like this. And I mention that because the shift key in this context doesn't bypass the grouping. Instead, it bypasses the snapping. Hold on shift, it still groups the items and moves them together, but it doesn't snap to our grid. It bypasses the snapping by holding down the shift key. But we can still bypass item grouping, but we have to do it one of two ways. We can turn off the toolbar button over here, and now item grouping is off. So I can grab this one, and it doesn't move the group. Do the same with this one, and it moves individually. But we have to turn the toolbar button on and off to get this behavior. Or we could do it with a keyboard shortcut. 
on PC, it's Alt Shift G, and on Mac, it's Option Shift G. Hit it once to bypass the grouping. Now you can adjust each item separately. Hit that keyboard shortcut again, and that turns item grouping back on. So now, if I move one item, they all move together as a group. And again, by default, they're going to snap. Unless we hold down Shift to bypass the snapping. But we could also use this trick to bypass the item grouping the same way, although we have to change it in our preferences. Let's go up here to the Options menu and go down to Preferences, which opens up the Reaper preferences. And let's scroll down to Mouse Modifiers, find the Context Media Item, Left Drag. And we'll see over here, they just move our items. Nothing to do with grouping or snapping. But if we hold down Shift, it ignores the snapping, which is what we saw before. But we could also change the mouse modifiers to ignore grouping. Right down over here, which is Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, it moves the item's contents, which means if we hold down that mouse modifier, it moves the contents within the item, like this. The items don't move, but the content inside the items does. But if you don't find yourself using it that often, we can move it to another mouse modifier, like this one over here, which by default is going to render items to new files, which I don't use that often, so I'm going to move the other one over here. We'll double click to select it, move item contents, and ignoring snap which is the same thing as this. So for Alt or Option on the Mac, let's change this to move our items, but also ignore grouping. So that's going to behave the same way as the default, but it's going to ignore the grouping. So we don't have to turn grouping on and off to move an item without its group. And if we add in Shift, we can get the same behavior as this one, ignoring Snap, but also without grouping, because I also don't use a just take pitch that often. So we'll change this to move item, ignoring grouping, but add in like we have with shift to also ignore snapping. So now this is going to behave similar to this. As long as we hold down Alt on the PC or Option on the Mac. So now we'll select or lasso all the items like this, type G to group them. And now they behave like a group, all moving together, but they're gonna snap by default. Drag it to here, or drag this one to here, and they snap to the grid. If we hold down shift, it bypasses that snapping. But now, you can hold on Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and that's going to bypass our grouping. You can move this item or this item completely separate from the group. And just let go of the modifier, and it behaves like a group again. Snapping or not snapping with Shift. And if you want it to work individually again, but not snapping, just add in the Shift key. So it's Alt Shift on the PC, Option Shift on the Mac, and we can grab this item, and they're not going to move as a group. And also, it's not going to snap to the grid. Let go of the Shift key, and it does. Hold the Shift key again, and it doesn't. Do the same with any item we want. Alt Shift on the PC, Option Shift on the Mac, grab the item, and it moves separately or ignores the group and doesn't snap to the grid. Let go of Shift, and it does. Let go of all the modifiers, and it behaves as a group again. So if you use item grouping a lot, I think this is a quicker way to work. So you won't have to go over here each time and turn the toolbar button on and off, or use a keyboard shortcut 
to turn grouping on and off. We could just do it with the mouse modifiers. And if you want to go back to the default, we could do that as well. Go back to our preferences in mouse modifiers in the same context. But first, let's save this setting. Go up here, save modifiers for this context. And I'm going to name it Ignore Grouping. So remember what it's for. Save it. Then we can go over here and reset modifiers to the factory default in this context. And that puts it all back the way it worked before. But if we want that behavior, just import it right here. Load modifiers for this context. Choose the file we saved. And it's right back to where we had it before giving us the ability to move it all as a group, either snapping or not, or hold down Alt on the PC option on the Mac to bypass the grouping. For each item, hold on Shift to bypass the snapping or not to snap it to the grid. And let go of the modifiers and they behave as a group again. Like I said, just a quicker way to disable and enable our grouping on the fly. So that's pretty much it. That's how to disable grouping quickly in Reaper. I hope you learned something. Hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.